Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Okay, we're looking at a G automatic dryer. This one just quit. It just quit out of the blue. And I didn't actually find anything specific wrong with it. I just traced down the line a little bit. And it came down to this part here. This is the belt detector circuit. If you break your belt, then it shuts off. And this little tang here is adjustable. And you'll typically hear a little click. A little click right there. What I did is I, I actually adjusted this a little bit so it takes less, uh, less tension to uh, turn that switch. And then it came right on. Typically these GEs will burn this. It's like a Teflon bushing. And then it also has these Teflon skids here. And here I put on an extra one here. And uh, what happens is on these, you can see there used to be a light in there. Well, it's an optional light situation basically. And there's excess holes in there so it's sucking in cold air right there. So I covered that up with some, some glue and some tape. And if you look down here, you can see that this thing's kind of loose here. So what I normally do, see that would be sucking in cold air if there wasn't any tension on it. What I normally do is I'll put some tape or some sealer around this. Edge here. And then this one here could actually use something too as well, like a little piece of foam heat resistant foam because if you look over here there's basically no insulation it's plastic to metal right there and you can see there's a little gap right there so I might put a little sealer around that some high temperature silicone when I put that together right around that outline and so sometimes what will happen is this thing will start to squeak and that means these Teflon skids up here are worn out. And this is one single piece here, from here to here, and you can replace that single piece if it's not too far gone, if your GE is making noise, and it's making noise for a long time, then you've probably worn out this bottom part here, poke holes in this, and you have to get a bottom piece as well. So that's your GE tip for today. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, I give phone advice for $25, 707-443-8347. Thanks for watching.